welcome back to my channel my name is maria from maddie's way of life i'm a first grade teacher and um i've done fourth grade and sixth grade before i start my day by looking at my lesson plan and yesterday we had a very productive day and so what i'm going to do right now is look through my lesson plan and see what i have planned for today um but usually what really helps me is just really looking through my drawers so i'm going to go ahead and make a coffee i am i'm not gonna lie a little bit um on the nervous side not completely but just on the ner nervous side because um uh, my principal spoke to me and she said she would be coming in this morning um to observe now you know i have been having a couple of behavior issues um that usually happen in the playground um and I don't mind her being in here. I just think like it, they should be observed in the playground. But anyway, I'm not going to say no because I don't mind. And um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just check my lesson plan um, and look at those drawers. But first, coffee. All of my kids are back today and I think I'll vlog a little bit later just because hopefully after recess things are better um, I got a couple things done with the kiddos and that's a good thing um, but we didn't even get to our grammar page today so I'll check in with you at lunch okay so what I'm doing right now um, we actually had computer lab right after lunch um, so that took some time and I just had them go on our Lexia program um, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to do the busting chart so that's what I'm working on right now and I'm a little bit overwhelmed just because just thinking it's too soon for another field trip. So let me go ahead and just do that. And yeah, I'm going to work on this right now. like a chicken without a head and it's field trip day it is currently 6 30 a.m and parents are about to get here like in five minutes i am charging the portable charger and then i am getting the chaperones list ready with the chocolate and the little tag that says field trips are hectic field trips are um fun without volunteers like you they couldn't be done thank you for so much for chaperoning mrs hernandez I attach a chocolate and I'm going to go ahead and get some sip logs. If you haven't seen my field trip essentials video, please go ahead and watch it. But this time I have to go really fast because they're back to back field trips. I don't have time to do everything that I usually do. I went really low on my makeup, by the way, because it's gonna, we're going to be under the sun. And so I'm going to put some band aids in here for each chapel. Anyway, I have to get going. I think um, 
I just am not feeling well right now just because of we don't know what the kids go home to. And um, I just got to experience something that just got me thinking about after school. What is it that the students go to? Um, do they even feel safe? Do, do they feel comfortable? Are they going home to a cook meal, dinner? Um, yeah, those are just things that Good morning. I'm sure <clears throat> things look brighter on the next day, right? I mean, I, I had a lot of reflecting to do. Thankfully, my daughters were with my mother and she gave me some time and that helped me tons. If you hear water in the background, my daughter's trying to wash my mugs, my coffee mugs, which by the way, had three different coffees from three different days that I never drank. There were like full mugs of coffee. Anyway, um, it's Friday. That's a good thing. I am going to go ahead and start by looking at my lesson plan again. And as I'm doing that, I also want to um, open the computer and students sing the Star Spangled Banner every morning. So if that's something that you're not used to doing in your teacher, please do it. The kids love it and I think it's something that they should, you know, know um, um, how to sing um, our national anthem. So anyway, um, what um, I want to do right now is go ahead and pull it out of, um, actually just um, get it from YouTube. And um, anytime that you get anything from YouTube, please make sure you watch it before you show your kids. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and um, put it up because I tend to forget to do it. And then what happens is, you know that as soon as you take your eyes out of the kiddos, like something tends to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up. Also, I'm going to open the Wonders um, website or the Connect Ed and... Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the pages that I'm going to do today. Also, today is Friday, so if I go ahead and pull out Friday stuff, <clears throat> today is Friday, so we have our spelling quiz. And remember, all of this is from Connected. And then before that, I review spelling and grammar in the back. So that's what's going to happen. <clears throat> um, today... We are finally going to get to work on, I'm gonna show you because we didn't get to do the first part on Wednesday due to different things. So we're going to do this one today and I think we'll finish up the write up on Monday. It's okay for you to do the writing in two weeks. Um, sometimes, you know, things come up and things don't go as planned. But remember, if you recall, from my last vlog on Monday, we did a field trip writing. So the students got to experience writing in the week. Um, and that's not an issue. So I'm going to go ahead and get them started on their graphic organizer. And then they'll do their write-up on Monday. Um, okay, so that's the plan for today. I'm going to go ahead and keep going because I do want to pull out the websites that I need so that, the, so that I'm ready for the kiddos. Um, one thing that I want to mention, I was thinking about this. Um, last night, um, my teacher brain doesn't shut down. And one of the things I was thinking is how tired we are after lunch. Um, and mathematics just seems to not go 
as well as like in the morning. So I was thinking maybe what I should do. I, I'm i thinking I'm gonna alternate math and language arts times. I'm not sure how I wanna do it if it's every other day, but I think mathematics needs to switch to the morning sometimes just because they are more alert and ready to learn. I've noticed that. Um, so that's something that I'm just playing with right now. I'm not sure if it's going to happen or not. Um, I don't know how the kiddos are gonna take it just because they do like routines and consistency. And our administration right here is very flexible as long as we're covering, we know what we need to cover. But, you know, we sit our schedule how we want it. We don't have to have it set a certain way, which is really cool that we're trusted as professionals. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I do have the start of a migraine, I can feel it. And both lights are on right now and it's triggering even more, so. I think I'm gonna turn one light off and then just um, keep working. Um, let me go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do thank you notes for a student that brought me a coffee, I wanna say two weeks ago, oh my gosh. And then today I got this one, it's this 85 degrees Celsius. Mm. Sorry. Fresh bakery. And after the field trip yesterday, one of the moms told me she was going to um, an Asian store. I can't remember what she said. I'm assuming that's the name of it, but she sent it to me in a support bag. I'm assuming it comes in a larger packet. Um, wow, it's delicious. I just took a piece from it. And as a matter of fact, I'm just going to go ahead and show you. Oh my gosh, it's so fluffy. I don't know how many calories. I don't know the macros, but you know what? I truly need it. Like, it's so darn fluffy. And oh my goodness, it's good. Mm, so this, this just made my day totally did um my stomach wasn't feeling well all morning and to be honest like as soon as i i had i just had some like bell pepper that's my coffee um bell pepper with um quinoa and um ground turkey and i think it just set my stomach like some reason i just i didn't i haven't eaten i didn't eat well and by well, I don't mean unhealthy. I just mean I didn't eat at all. So let me go ahead and grab my coffee because it's a new mug that one of my friends gave me here on campus. Isn't it the cutest thing ever? So yeah, I feel so spoiled by my friends and by my parents. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and what I'm working on right now is grade book. I didn't get a chance to put last week's chapter one test and then um, they took their spelling t test today, which wasn't as good as last week's. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the system just so I can send it back to the parents because I know the parents want to know. And that's what I'm gonna work on. Probably going to give them an independent assignment just because I don't want to do this at home, guys. Is that horrible? Just that I am, I'm totally, I totally, just want to have them do an independent assignment. And um, we are not having art class today because um, the teacher um, sent me a message two days ago and I didn't see it until today. Um, or actually, I just talked to her today. I didn't even see the message or hear the message um, that she wanted to cancel today and it's totally cool with me. Um, so probably gonna have them do 100 mile. And then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna give them an independent assignment. At this point, it might be writing. I did do some math this morning, which made me really happy and I feel accomplished. And we took our assessments that we had to take for today and we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. And they, the kids kind of knew that I wasn't feeling well, so they've been really good.
Saturday and going to go ahead and go to campus. I decided to go in because it is um, open today and I am going to plan in the classroom today. Usually I plan on Sundays and um, just bring my planner here and everything. But yesterday, because I knew the site will be open, I made it a point to leave it there. Number one, because I didn't want to bring any work home. Oh, I didn't do my nails. Awesome. <laughs> and then number two, because just in case I decided not to come in today, um, I still didn't want to have access to anything that could potentially make me distract me from my family. My husband is going to go into work today as well. So we decided that we will both go into work and then after we're going to we have some plans we have dinner and movies um, with the girls so um, that's what we decided to do so uh, it's a good thing because that way I won't feel so overwhelmed on Monday I did kind of briefly look through the math because like I said um, yesterday I want to see if I can alternate it so I and I knew for some reason I wanted to start with that on Monday I'm gonna try it we'll see what happens so I did look through the math just so I wouldn't mean going cold turkey um so that's that we'll see what happens so i'll check in with you once i'm in my classroom all right here we go we're in the classroom and let me go ahead and show you the state of my room just so that you know what I'm probably going to work on real quick. Um, yeah, let's do let this. I let them do independent work yesterday. And then I allowed them to go to my, like, fun Friday, we're going to call it stuff. And it doesn't look amazing, but I'm not going to go ahead and touch that because they're responsible to fix it. it. It's not as bad, but they didn't put things back where in the bins that they belong. Um, they actually did put them back in the little... Um, in the boxes where they belong which is a good thing um okay so that's one thing that is bothering me just a smidge um then right here they didn't put their headphones back yeah and they were attempting to put the library back in like the books where they belong but they didn't finish and they were attempting we only have five minutes to clean so I'm just gonna go ahead and excuse that. As you can see, I haven't put Velcro on these. So they fell yesterday that they used the library, library, sorry. And so yeah, that, they love this by the way. We're excited. Um, so I'm not going to, except for putting that bin back, I'm not doing anything else. The kids will be taking care of the rest of it. I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Um, over here, this is, something that I want to take care of today. I want to finish cleaning those up. I kind of been doing half closets here and there, like two and two, but you know, I'm not done. So that's going to happen. I want to go ahead. These two Chromebooks don't work. And if you've seen my vlogs before, I always have trouble with technology. And then the rest of them were kind of working through glitches. That's what I'm going to call it at this point. And then, um, one of the first grade teachers, let me borrow some Chromebooks. They're over there on the counter. So what I'm going to do, one of my goals, so my second goal, number one, clean that out. Number two, make sure I charge these and replace them with four just so that all of them are charged by Monday. Then I'm going to change this because we did ch start chapter two on Wednesday, I want to say. And then I want to just flip the cards on these as well. Structure analysis is falling apart. And I think it's because this tape was too close to it. So when that student gets up, it's an issue. So I'm going to go ahead and probably move this table over. So flip those, flip those, clean that, move these table over, tables over, charge the computers. I am going to go ahead and add second grade level to these words. And then... I am going to kind of clean up my guided reading math area because um, I worked on it on Friday. I worked there on Friday and I just, I kind of want to make it look nice and tidy. Um, the calendar, I have a monitor now and <laughs> it needs to be straightened out. Um, 
Did you see 23, how they changed it? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, that turn and bin, I think we did everything there. Um, some students were suspended and some were absent. So they forgot to take their, th or they didn't take their things from their mailboxes. Those, by the way, are working amazing. I love that, I love that system. Clipboards being right there in the front of the room. If you ever saw my setup um, videos um, or when I was moving right before the end of the year, when I moved from fourth grade class to here, I wanted to get some tray, not trays. I don't know what they're called, but it's a storage system really for the clipboards. And um, they're from very good stuff. I think that's what it's called. And, and you know, if you're a teacher probably, but um they were like $40 each and I would need to spend on two. So I was going to go ahead and buy both of them. And then I decided not to because I'm like, you know what? They will be fine there. And I actually really like them there with the exception that when they're rushing, this is kind of what happens, but I can live with that. I'm okay with that. I seriously am. So that's working. And then I do want to pull out the new stories for wonders. And then I want to add it to my planner book. So let's see how much I get done out of everything that I just said. And let me just get okay, started. So real quick, um, I am needed for Saturday school. So I am going to go ahead and probably not finish even half of what I just said. But I am going to go make, you know, some copies for the little ones. And yeah, I'll be right back. Forever. I went to do some work for Saturday school and then I came back in here. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm sweating now. Um, the Velcro didn't work. So I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> not use it for the word read. I did go on the ladder and um, put it initially where I thought it should go. And I should just got with my initial gut feeling about it. Um, so when I was trying to put it there... The Velcro kind of made it more unstable. And I think I should have gone with a bigger piece of Velcro. That's what I, I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't have worked anyway. But for now, what I tried doing is putting it just on the ledge of the um, curtain. Like right on that thing. And that didn't work either. So then I had to take off the Velcro and everything. And then I went back with my original idea of just putting it against the wall and I just use push pins for that and they've been staying up so far so good and we've been in school for a month now so <laughs> that actually looks really good I am um, pretty happy with that up there let me show you from distance how it looks um, <laughs> that's what it looks like at this point and whoa, I didn't know that was gonna take a while. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and start on that. about doing anything else but just getting these closets done I feel so much better so that's done um I did put the library bin back um I removed the read sign put it up there that makes me really happy uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the stuff away that I used earlier oh and I plugged in the computers I cleaned up my guided reading area sorry over there and um let me go ahead and work with the bulletin boards for the following week's focus Okay, let me.
let me go ahead and um, give you a little update on these work, this portable word wall. Um, students absolutely love it. We actually even use it for um, centers. And so what I do and what I was doing here earlier through the, um, what is it called? Uh, through cleaning this area, the guided reading area, what I was doing here um, earlier is just pulling these off the wall. And these come in the set with Learning in Wonderland. And so center one is teacher time. So I'm going to put the one. I initially what I did because I didn't think things through. I just started putting them around because I was trying it on that first month on a Monday two weeks ago, I want to say. And so I want to match kind of like an orderly fashion how they should rotate. Whereas before I think, okay, so what I was saying is when I had them do um, centers before, I actually put them out of order. So some kiddos walked in here, but that's okay. Um, and I want to put them in order so that they can rotate accordingly. So I will do teacher time, center one, and then I will do like word wall too. So that way they can go from here and then go over there to the word wall. And the word wall is amazing. So what I was saying is they um, did really well doing that during center time as well as when they're doing writing. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. Um, the closets look really good. Yay! That looks good. Mm, that was done. Plugging in computers. These are ready to go. That makes me really happy. I added now in this, the kids came in here and they were using my centers. Um, but anyway, um, I have word wall for K first and second vocabulary there or words. And then, um, I actually also put the numbers, like I was telling you before students walked in, in the correct order. So we'll start over there if you can see it. Teacher time with me, word wall, writing folders are right there, two, and then, um, wait, I'm missing one. Sorry, <laughs> two is word wall, three writing folders. And then at the library is number four, read to myself, and then number five, is going to be here because this is where I have like my centers for mathematics and also um, it's where I move my bins for word work that are back here. I usually just move them, the ones I want them to use, like in front of the rug area. Then um, six is here and this is where fluency will occur. So I'm, occur. <laughs> this is where fluency will occur. So I'm um, printing out some fluency packets and putting them in that bin right there. And then also, um, so fluency packets go there. And what I'm going to do is put addition and multiplication facts so that they practice their math fluency as well. So those are done. And then I did clean that area. But you notice I opened this cabinet right here because I wanna see what materials I have for my first module in PLTW. That's kind of what held me back last week from even starting. I didn't remember which mod module materials I had. So I'm just gonna check really quick through them and see what's in the here and probably take some pictures just so that I can take it back home and maybe just kinda um, look at it on Monday morning before I get here, just so that I get an idea. Usually the first day is just introducing, you know, vocabulary, making sure they know about the engineering process, design. So I'm not too concerned about the lesson planning so much as like where this is gonna be guided to towards the lesson probably continuing on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So Monday should be pretty self-explanatory. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and look through this, take pictures.
all right guys well thank you for watching like always please go ahead and subscribe comment below your comments helped me a lot last time thank you so much for commenting and like the video if you are interested please go ahead and subscribe and um i'll probably check in with you sometime in the middle of the week next week no, live happy mm -hmm.